Hey, everybody. Hi. Um, sorry it's been a while since I, I've made a video. I've had a terrible cough. And instead of coughing through the entire video, I just saw it wait a few days. Um, but something happened the other day that reminded me of a lot of things. Um, Kim's, Kim's been with me for a long time. And you, you really have to appreciate that person who's there when they get the phone call in the middle of the night. Chad's been hurt. You need to come get him. You know, he's at the hospital. He's, you know, things are going on. I better not get that call. Um, oh, of all the times you have, you shouldn't ever get another one. But something happened the other day while I was at work. That made me laugh so hard. And so working there, um, there are no firearms by law allowed in hospitals uh, due to the emotional nature of what happens there. Um, <laughs> this gentleman walks in, he's got a big six gun on his hip. And I go, pardon me, sir. Um, there's no weapons allowed in the hospital. Screw you, this Texas. And he dropped a few F-bombs and told me this and that. And, rah, rah, rah. and I go, well, sir, I'll be forced to call the police unless you please take it to your car. And he keeps going. Okay, 911. Hi, this is Chad. I'm over here. Got a guy with a gun in the hospital, and he refuses to take it to his car. And they said, thank you, we'll be right there. Um, and you hear this out of the blue over from the elevators. That SOB, blah, 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 blah. and this, he's, he's not a huge man. Kind of a skinny little fella. Um, comes walking around the other crazy face on, and he just walks right up to me and punches me in the face. So softly, I thought he was joking. And I almost burst out laughing. It was so soft. And I'm, I'm looking at him like, are you serious? That was that was it. That was, you know that was a big emotional buildup. You know, I all this stuff is going through my head, and behind me in the glass, I notice that the police car pulls over, pulls up, and the police officer comes in, and I, I just think there's a a little couchy bench thing there, and I just fall down on the kid, and the police officer comes in. He goes, "What's going on?" I, he just punched me. Like a bitch. And I, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to hold it in so hard. Boy. And the officer's looking at me like, and, and oh, well, he's here taking his wife upstairs to the surgical center. Come here, guys. So while, while we talk, he can take his wife up there um, after he takes the gun to the car. Okay. And the guy goes, okay, okay, I'll take the gun to the car. So he takes the gun to the car. And the police officer, I tell him what's going on. I go, the guy just hit me so softly. Like a bitch. Um, I'm trying not to laugh. And he goes, oh, really? So like, and I go, so I'm just going to play it up and be funny. And he goes, okay. <laughs> kind of love small town cops. So I'm in there. He comes back in. He's, he, the, his holster's empty. And I go, if you want to take your wife up to the surgical center so she doesn't miss her appointment. And the guy's looking at me like, and he looks at the police officer, looks at me, and you know, because I'm kind of squinting and looking at him. And me and the police officer are sitting there, you know, talking after he walks his wife up there. And <laughs> as he gets up there, he gets to the door, he opens the door, and he looks back down at us, I go, And the police, officer, the police officer's not into it. He's, he's kind of giggling about it. He goes, well, you want to press charges? I go, I don't know. I, I felt I had to do this just so he'd feel good about himself. I mean, because he really, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pow. And, he, and instead of laughing at him, I, I was trying to make him feel good about hitting me. That's how bad he, and the cops talking to him. And we, and we share a couple of funny stories. And I go, I remember, you know, doing traffic accidents 
Um, and probably one of the first ones I ever did. Um, the paramedic comes out, looks down, and says, oh, he had an accident. And I go, well, duh, look at the car. He goes, no, he lost bladder control, which means he was either knocked unconscious or has received some very severe head and neck injuries. So we're going we're gonna to board him up. We're gonna, and, you know, they, they took all the precautions they need to to make sure this guy wasn't hurt. And he goes, and that's one of the telltale signs. Now, if they evacuate, poop themselves, that's a severe sign. And I'm like, you know, if, if I was going to, you know, I'd almost be embarrassed to sue him or have him arrested because he hit me so softly. And the police officer goes, you know, that peeing themselves thing, that's come up. I've, had, I, I've heard that. And we're having a good conversation about it. Well, that guy went up, got his wife checked in, and she went in to go have whatever. I guess it was just a small foot surgery. Um, and he comes back down, and as he walks around the corner, I do. And now the police officer's going. Trying not to laugh out loud at this poor man. Who, you know, I've got no animosity towards this guy. But as we're sitting there now that we've talked and he knows what's going on, he's like, and he looks at this, he goes, you know, you better be happy that this officer, fine, upstanding person, he lets you off the hook. So if you want to go take care of your wife, stay here. No firearms. I mean it. And I'm, and I'm still sitting there. Um, and now the guy's got a scared look. He, he takes off, he runs up. Disappears into the surgical center. Um, but I felt so bad that this poor man, I mean, because I'm not huge, I'm not a professional boxer, I'm not Mike Tyson. I've, of course, the, the most severe beatings I've taken have been from women. Um, well, what was funny is he came home that night and he goes, Is my face swollen? Can you tell? Can you tell? I said, What? He goes, I got hit at work. I'm like, what? Where'd you get hit? Let me look. He's like, on the side of the face. <laughs> I don't see it. She's, I don't see it. I'm saying she's, she's in my head. Yeah. She's turning me into light. I'm like, I don't see it. <laughs> and I tell her, then I tell her the funny story about it. Um, but you know, I made somebody feel good that they got to hit you. <laughs> Not get in trouble. You know, what, what, what am I going to do? I, am I so important that I can't give a little? The guy's going to go, you know, I better be careful. Throwing these hams around, boy. I'm going to get myself in trouble one of these days. I knocked, I knocked that guy out. Did you see him laying there? Because yeah, Gus will actually go, you want these paws? You want to catch these paws? Catch these paws? Let me, let me clean my bitch lappers. Um, but he was there's something about a hospital that brings out the worst in people in they're, they're scared they're, they're going oh my, you know, something's going to happen to my wife and, I, and I'm powerless the powerlessness that's why I have to stand there and smile and be funny and um but if you're ever in a situation where you're so completely dominant and you can give a little bit. Do. do. Be nice. Be nice. Because, you know, he, he was probably sitting in there just, I'm going to end up going to jail. Hardened criminal, you know. Nope, we're all laughing at you behind your back. Um, but I've never looked cool in a fight. Ever, and I've talked about a few of them, you know, or um, like the lady at Home Depot. Um, she walked up and she had a six pack of annuals, and there was just one left, this gnarled little burnt up thing. She goes, "Look at this. This is terrible." I go, "You know, you're right, ma'am." And I took it out of her hand and threw it in the garbage. And when I came back around, she hit me so hard. I thought she shot me. 
I'm like, whoa, whoa. She hit me hard. This is the hardest I've been hit by a man. And she hit, oh, she almost knocked me off my pins. And I'm like, well, here, take this six pack of annuals. Just quit hitting me. She, she left. And I have four or five people are standing around going, damn, she hit you, man. Hurt too. You, you never look good beating up. And I'm going to say the words midgets, cripples, and old people. You never look good getting in a fight with them. Let them beat you because if you duck and go, man, please stop hitting me, you look better than knocking her flat, going, ha ah, ha, that's what you get, lady. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick little video. Um, but yeah, when I come home, like I can tell my wife a funny story like that. Instead of going, hey, look, dear. No, he doesn't come in, in going, I got blood all over my uniform. What? That would be. Yeah. And I think I'm going to start doing that when she's yelling at me. Just... <gasps> And if he would just listen to me, I wouldn't have to yell. Um, hey, you guys have fun. Um, we'll talk to you later.